Hi guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. Today we've got a special one. We've got Steve on the voiceover at the end today with his homemade deep pan pizza here. So we had this on Monday. Couldn't tell you how he made it, but he will. These tuna melts, tuna cheese melts with fries. That's how they look. Steve and the kids really enjoyed those. Then we have one of my favourites, which is jacket potatoes with cheese and then fish in butter sauce on top. Don't look the greatest, but it tastes nice. This was a... What what meat was that, Steve? Can you remember? Beef. Was it beef? Yeah, I tried a new recipe. We want other king. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> you don't need to know. <laughs> That is not burnt, I promise you. It is not burnt. Was it, Steve? Crispy. It was not burnt. So we had some egg fried rice, and this was belly pork, but it had hoisin and honey on it. That's why the colour went like that, because of the sugars. It is not burnt. <laughs> and Steve, stop saying it's crispy. These are the Popeye's burgers. Unfortunately, as they never sent me out proper fillets, they sent out the mini fillets, so I had to make do with what I had. But we ate them nonetheless in ciabatta rolls. And then we had a chicken salad for Sunday. Uh, In-laws wanted this week. So it was just a chicken salad, some new potatoes and some rabbit food. Now this is Steve's pizza that he made. So tell them what you're putting in, Steve. And 400 grams of plain flour. Teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of sugar, two teaspoons of olive oil, tablespoons, teaspoon of yeast. No, it's not. Oh, seven grams. <laughs> two hundred and twenty-five mils of warm water. And he's obviously, as you can see, he's put it into the stand mixer. You can do it by hand if you want. But why when you've got a, a dough hook on a stand mixer? <laughs> How long did you mix it for, Steve? About five, ten minutes. We're going to watch it all mix now. We're not watching it for a whole five, ten bleeding minutes. <laughs> I can't do the voiceover on my own because it was his pizza, so... So, once you let it go for five to ten minutes, what did you do with it after that? Left it for two two hours to rise, for an hour. What, room temperature? Yeah, on the oven. On top of the oven. Why well, made the sauce. And there is making the sauce. Two tins of tomato and two teaspoons of tomato puree, tablespoons. They're chopped tomatoes, by the way, guys. 400 gram tins. Some onion powder, teaspoon. <laughs> the exact recipe will be underneath. Oregano and basil. Some garlic powder or garlic cloves. Some margarine there. That was extra. That was extra. I was going to say it's not on your list. <laughs> two teaspoons of oil, pinch of salt, two pinches of salt. <laughs> and how long did you cook it for? Just heat it up till it starts boiling, then I'll blend it. Oh, with the uh, uh, hand blitzer. Was it cold? You whiz a doodah. What's it called? Immersion blender. Yeah, that's the one. You got a food processor, you could use that, I suppose. There we go, immersion blender. The kids don't like the chunky Just be there. careful when it's hot, guys. Splatter all over the kitchen. Yeah. They didn't make no mess. Oh, you sound so proud of yourself that you didn't make no mess. <laughs> oh, you nearly did then, look. This is a large deep baking sheet. Have you measured that baking sheet, Steve? 
No. We'll get the dimensions because we did order it off Amazon, so it'll be on there. I'll make sure he gets the dimensions and pops it in the description. So, what are you doing now? Just spread it flat and then leave it to rise for another half an hour. This is a deep pan, isn't it? Yeah. So, if you like a thick, fluffy crust, this is the pizza for you. You've got a hole in your pizza, don't you? I can't see it. <laughs> you can't see it. So, it's fixed. Don't have to be perfect, does it? It will try to shrink back on you, but just keep pushing it out, and it will eventually. Oh, you're still fixing your hold up. <laughs> so that's after it's rose for about half an hour. So you're not gonna like prick it or anything, now? No. I'll just leave it as it is. I squished the middle bit down and left the edges higher. Tomato sauce, pizza sauce. And it's just as much as you want, really. Uh, it is fine to freeze this sauce. We have done that loads of times. Then he ain't going to make it the next time. And the kids like it on pasta, don't they? Mm. Did any of the kids come in and help you? We'll see in a minute. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You're very gentle with the spoon, my love. I know. Nice little layer. Okay. Got to make sure it's all covered. It's not though, because the more you're moving the spoon, you're moving it out of the way. But don't put too much sauce on, because it'll be wet. It'll be a bit moist. Mm, very moist. <laughs> a layer of cheese. Oh, I see a little hand. Whose little hand is that? That's Amy. It's a wonder she's done that. It's a wonder she's not eating it. She's putting one grain on at a time. I'd have already been like, come on, Ames. You're much more patient than I am. Or did you take over in a minute? No. She's counting the pieces on one, one by one. Ah, you see, you, you're shoving some on now. <laughs> Did the kids eat that pastrami? Yeah. Oh, I was quite surprised. I didn't know you put pastrami on it, because I, I didn't have it. I'm not a fan of deep pizzas. I like thin and crispy. I'd prefer, like, an inch of toppings over an inch of base. We had pepperoni and... Pepperoni. Pepperoni and pastrami. Mm -hmm. Didn't we have no salami? No. Didn't have none. Oh, that's appalling that we didn't have none. I know, it's your fault. Why is it my fault? If you didn't eat them out the packet... I don't. Amy going in for the handfuls. <laughs> what are you taking it off her for? It's taking too long. Well, you're just flicking it on. She's arranging it beautifully like a mother would. I was passing it to her. Say, look. Oh, she's like a mother. Eats it like a father. <laughs> so what else goes on, look? Just cheese, that's it. You're not using no mozzarella? I didn't have no mozzarella. <laughs> Would you have used mozzarella? Yeah, I'd have put mozzarella on. The ball or the other one? Yeah, either. I, don't you find that the balls of mozzarella, they make the pizza too soggy? Great mozzarella is better. It is, isn't it? I, I think it is. I like thin and crispy pizza, not stodgy. Amy's shaking her hand about over the pizza there, but nothing's coming out of her hand. <laughs> she's at it, you know, and then she's faking it. She took a piece. Has she? I didn't see that. <laughs> I just see her hand go back in again. She is a cheese monster, that girl. So How long did you cook it for? 20 minutes. Is that all? Well, 20 to, 20 to 25. In the yeah. middle of the oven or the top? In the middle, gas mark six. Right. And there it is. That's how fluffy it is. And... The leftovers were cut into squares like that and they're in the freezer for the kids for after school one day. So we tried before and it was really nice from the freezer, wasn't it? Steve joined us today, so give him a thumbs up. Hit that hit that thumbs up button just for the fact that Steve joined us today to do a voiceover. Um the kids are gonna pick today who has won the um double air fryer. So today is your last chance to comment if you would like the double air fryer. If you haven't seen it, it's the last video. Um so yeah. It will be on Wednesday's video, who has won it. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to say thanks to Steve as well for popping in. Bye. Bye.